how are you hope you are doing well today i'm going to show you how to create a customer master in sap so you have to use t code xd01 and you have to go there so there you can see so in the first box we have account group you can select whatever the account group you need if you see the starting from the insert account groups are the customized one you can uh, customize this using the configuration then you have to choose a company code and the sales organization so the sales area is a combination of sales organization distribution channel and the division okay so the combination of these three we call the sales area okay so to create customer you have to select all the three and uh, then press continue okay right so here you can see the account assignment group uh, 001 is there is error right that means this account assignment group is not allowed to uh, select automatically a uh, number for the customer here there is coming again and again right so this you can uh, change using the configuration here i i will give the uh, name for the customer okay but in your case in your system maybe this is different you have to read the error if you get any right okay see if you give a b c d it uh, shows the error and give a number between uh, this one to this one okay so i'll give the number so here i use the external numbering for my customer master then i use uh, select the title okay company mr or mrs and then the name of the company okay i'll give abc company Then the search term so this is the small uh, term you can give to search your customer easily then we give the street house number postal code i hope you are familiar with the mandatory fields in sap so this field is mandatory you can see this icon this one is also mandatory so if this icon is not there you can skip that field and go ahead so i fill the transportation show and the country and the region okay so these regions you can configure as per your country requirement okay those are the additional data not mandatory thing okay. you can give the po box the postal code and telephone number fax email address of your customer okay so many uh, information relevant to the communication okay then the control data you press the control data here so the these fields are not mandatory right but there are different different purposes as an example this vendor field is a uh, use when your customer act as a vendor right okay i'm not going to fill anything in this one then payment transaction okay this is also not mandatory but if you have done the relevant configuration you can enter the bank account of the customer you can define it first you have to select the country Please note that before uh, selecting these, we have to do some configurations. Otherwise, you won't see any data here. Bank key and the bank account number, the holder name. Okay. Then the marketing detail. These are also some additional information. If there is any marketing detail, you can maintain the Nielsen ID annual sales sort of data unloading points export data okay 
those are also additional information the contact information contact person of your customer maybe the contact person can be a different person okay we can enter the name first name right now we have finished this one then we have to check you have to fill company code data and the sales area data actually in customer master we have three set of uh, data general data company code data and sales area data now i mean company code data here you have to give the reconciliation account it is very important this is where your finance module and the sales module will be linked okay you have to select the correct reconciliation account okay and then the payment transactions so the payment terms you can select the payment terms any payment terms you want this is also not mandatory okay if you didn't select this field will not pick during the sales order creation you can you have to fill manually right the correspondence the insurance details those are not uh, mandatory fees then i go to the sales area data so you have to fill the sales district which district is this customer below this district also you can configure according to your requirement sales office if you have any see i don't have any values for that one because i have i haven't done the configuration and the currency so then the shipping tab you have to fill the shipping condition okay And the billing document, this is important. Okay, so you have to select the inco term of your customer. So I, I use EXW, XWORD. There are a lot of inco terms. You can search Google and you can learn the definition of these each uh, inco terms. Term of payment also you can select. And the account assignment group is very important. You have to select the current one. So this is where your GL accounts, uh, profitability account and the customer master will be linked. Okay. So then the tax information. Here. Okay. For the first one, you can see the, the tax information is not there. Right. Second one is available. I select this one. Uh, to correct first one, I did some configuration. Right. I'm going to do some configuration here see it says tsdk table is missing right that's why value is not there uh, here i'm not going to show that configuration maybe in your case it is already available this is how i did the con configuration and here i select the relevant output tax and i select the account assignment group again So in your system, those uh, things will be different one. Okay, this part number seven will be automatically uh, select. Now we have filled all the relevant uh, data. Now we save. Here you can see the customer code is generated. It's one two two three. If you want to change your uh, customer. You can go to xd03 and you can give the customer name and the company sales area data and you can select the relevant sales area if you have multiple from customer sales areas okay and then you are inside if you want to change any field you can change it okay. you can change it and you can save So I did the change. Now XD03 is to display your customer master. 